This video is one in a series of videos covering how to make a car body for automation, the car company tycoon game, from start to finish. In this video, I'm going to make a quick addition to the material selections on this body, and then I'll move on to a quick export test. At this stage, I want to test my car in Unreal Engine and see what it looks like in game, primarily to make sure that the morphs are working and that the reflections look good, because if you don't fix them now, the problems will transfer to every other variant you make and you'll have a nightmare of a mess on your hands. So quickly, I'm going to select this lower half of the side of the car, and I'll select the underbody. Then I'll add a material, and assign the two-tone paint to that material. Then I'll apply that material to the selected faces. I missed the seam, so I'll select that and assign that as well. And now we have a two-tone paint stripe. Some more small adjustments. It's really important to fix whatever needs fixing early. This underbody could use better alignment, so I'll fix that here. And I'll do the same for the rear underbody. I will talk about exactly how to set up bounds boxes, export settings, setting up bones, and everything else in later videos, but I want those to be their own videos. This video is about what we're looking for and how to fix it. Most of these reflections are looking really good. However, the reflections around both fender morphs are pretty bad when I morph the fender out. So I'm going to jump back into Blender and add some containment edges around each of the wheel arches. I'll start with the rear quarter panel. I'm going to start by hiding these two faces that are defined by their poles. A pole is a vertex that has anything other than four edges, usually three or five attached to it. With those hidden, I'll throw down an edge loop here, and here. Alt-H to unhide the faces. Briefly, I'll roll under the car body, and I'll throw an edge loop on the underbody to match up with the edge loop I just added to the side. Before I do, I'll make sure the auto-merge is unticked so it doesn't accidentally become merged to the body. Okay, back to the side. I'm going to highlight these two vertices and press J to join them. Now I'll slide the verts around a bit, turn on Auto Merge, and merge these two vertices together. I have a triangle here, and an opportunity to simplify the geometry a little. So I'll select these vertices up to the seam, and slide them back to merge them, and I'll hide a triangle inside the seam. over to the other triangle, and I'll merge them together and slide it into place. And I'll slide this whole edge up a little and make some more minor adjustments. Now we've completed an extra quad wrap around the soft wheel arch, which I'll hopefully contain the reflections a bit better. Onto the front fender. I don't have a lot of room to work with, so I'll try selecting this vertex here and this one here and press J to join them. I'll join the triangle we just made and make a few more adjustments. Now I'm going to keep working around, joining the vertices together and working on the quad wrap around the soft fender edge. Now I can take these triangle pairs and convert them back into quads by pressing F. Now I'll do a similar thing at the leading edge of the fender. With the shiny matte cap, I should have a better view of how the reflections look, though I really won't know until I'm back in the game, but it's very promising. There, that's much better. However, if I move the A-pillar morph back, it draws that ugly reflection with it. So I think the solution will be to go back to weight painting and reweigh the vertices responsible.
and I'll actually make an adjustment as it relates to the rear length morph as well. Checking with the shiny mat cap, and I can verify the reflections look solid. Not bad at all for such a low poly mesh. The final car with this seams finished is slightly less than 8,000 tries, so being able to keep nice reflections on a low poly, high performance mesh like this is pretty solid. This will conclude this video. If you found it useful, give the video a like, and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this one as they're released. See you next time.